Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Let's Play DaVinci Resolve, we're going to be making a little Facebook ad. So this is going to be a real simple thing, it's going to be one shot, so since it's just one shot, we can grade the absolute heck out of it. I wasn't originally going to make a Let's Play for it, but then I started getting into it and I was like, wow, there's a lot of cool stuff going on that I haven't really covered in tutorials before. So if you're not familiar with this style, it is just sort of an unedited Theo doing some work and walking you through it. So here we have this shot, which you may remember or may not of Mr. Rodney wearing some cool glasses playing guitar in a field out behind my house. So you can see this is a pretty flat, dull shot, but we do have some potential. You see, since we have all this information, we can do basically whatever we want. This is shot ProRes HQ, I believe, so we've got some latitude. You can see that there's the sun behind the cloud, so since this is a sunglasses ad, we are going to be making this look like it's actually bright outside. So get ready for some crazy hacks. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add a little LUT because, you know, why the heck not? So, oh, since this is a Let's Play and people aren't going to watch it anyway. Look, we might we might have some other stuff coming up, but I won't use those in this one. Um, so I'm just going to use this guy, which is basically just extra saturation that looks nice. There's a little bit of, of tweaky diddly biddly in there, but, you know, it's mostly... Just pretty easy. I'm also going to add just a little bit of uh, this guy and change our pivot just so we're looking a little bit nice. So now that's a, a pretty nice sort of neutral looking grade. Now we're going to get crazy. So just preemptively I'm going to add another node and then another node after that and then start making parallel nodes. So we are going to be doing lots and lots of tracking. So I'm going to make a circle window in this top node, make it a little bit smaller, and then put it right about there-ish. And then I'm going to make sure 3D is off because we don't need that and track that way. And, ooh, wow, you don't like tracking backwards, do you? Whoa. Well, I will remember that in the future. I've never had that problem before, I don't think. Oh, well. DC is just tracking along. We're getting all sorts of stuff. The lines all look nice and smooth, which is good. So there we have that. And then what we can do with this now is after it's been tracked, you can move it wherever you want and it still retains that little, you know, delta stuff. So we're going to make a big soft one up here. Ha 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 ha. Sex joke. Um, and we're going to bring the gain up a lot and make it sort of warm-ish. So I always have trouble finding a sun color that I like. Hmm call that good for now make this just real big so sweet so it's already looking you know a lot brighter but it, it still looks a little bit a little bit too book of eli so we're going to change that around some or maybe not maybe we'll just end up looking like crazy crazy stuff so in this next node i'm going to make another circle window and go over to the tracker and instead of tracking it, I'm going to go back to our previous one, go to this guy, copy track data. And that's something a lot of people don't know about, so you can just paste track data. Move it back over here, and we don't have to track it again, which is nice. So we're going to be using that same track data a lot. So we're going to make this one a little bit smaller, a little bit less soft. And we're going to really pump it up hotter. So it looks like there's a little bit more of a sun going on. And then we're going to add another parallel node. Ooh, what was that? Voice cracked. Let's see, change this. And now this is going to be a real tricky one. So what we're going to do in this, this is going to really, I like this one a lot. Actually, no, we're not going to do that yet. That's going to come later on because I want to make sure my nodes are a little bit more neater. So this is something that I do a lot is add another, yeah, I'll keep it a circle window. And we will go ahead and paste our track data again. Sweet. Make it real big and real soft. Sweet. I'll push it towards blue, bluey, bluey green. That just makes stuff look really neat.
Now on this node beforehand, we are going to go add another little circle window. I'm going to hit Alt-D to disable all my nodes. That guy to go back to the beginning. And we are going to add a circle window on Professor Rodney here. Get small. Go ahead and drag that bad boy forward. I'm going to turn off zoom and track it again. I don't, it may, I'm not sure. We're just going to track it again anyway, because that one went pretty quick. Going to soften it way out, make it like that. Bring our gamma up. Oop, enable our grades, nodes. Same difference. Basically just twiddle our contrast around so that we see that our subject has some focus. We see before and after, we are making it making it pop because the glasses are, are the key here and they sort of blend in with everything else in the image. And maybe later on, I, I doubt that I'll highlight them specifically, but I might. We'll see how much time I want to spend on this shot. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do to make stuff pop is add another parallel node, and this is where stuff's going to get real cool. At least I think so. I've already made a tutorial on this, but, you know, what the heck. We switch our tracker to FX, and we're going to click on this little guy, move the dot Oop, to this tree, hope it sticks, hit Alt-D to disable all of our things, realize that we screwed up, and go back here, track forward, zoop, 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 there we go, nice. I'll D to enable our grades, go to open effects, bring lens flare on this bad boy. And we're going to go to MRI, whatever, because that one's cool. And now you can see it's starting to look like there's some sun in this shot. And it tracks right along. Pretty killer. My computer does not like playing this back. Ooh, I should save since it doesn't like playing it back. That would be a good idea, Theo. Yeah, that looks smooth enough. Hopefully it works. All right, so now we've got that happening. And we're, we're looking pretty good, but it still could, you know, stand out a little bit more. So I will go ahead and add a little bit of a vignette. boop ba doop boo squoop boop ba doo I normally cut those noises out of tutorials, I think. But you get to enjoy them here since it's a let's play. Gamma down, invert this guy. Sweet. Shift S to add a node beforehand and we will bump up our contrast some because that lens flare really sort of washes your image out. Ooh, speaking of lens flares, I think I might. <laughs> Oops. I'm looking through the lens junk pack now. And I might add... It's going to add... A, these fly eyes ones are my favorites. So I'm going to add a couple of those to the media pool. I'm just going to play around and see if we can add one over top. Just because I really like stuff to be... Oh, just disgustingly, you know messy or or whatever oh that's nice Whoo! look at that all right so i'm going to go to the inspector and i'm going to flip this way oh good i'm even recording this then change composite mode to screen Screen. Flip it this way too. Killer. So I think I will add some contrast to this guy. So it blends in a little bit better. Nice. 
I feel like I could use more color in this shot. So, huh, how do I want to do that? I can definitely add a little bit more saturation here. Make him stand out. Oh, I could do something gross. And so this is going to use one from the Rec 709 part of House. Gosh darn it, computer. Mm, what's going on? Okay. Um, <laughs> I doubt this is going to work. This is a little bit hip, yeah. I sort of just want something that adds a bunch of random colors. Oh, I know what I can do to get that. Go to the Carnival Power Grades. Let's see if... What, is it Control Drag? Oh, nice. All right, and now the Carnival Power Grades are meant for log footage, so I'm just going to quickly you know bump down our saturation but come on buddy Yeah, now that's looking cool. So I might go back in here and... Uh, it's probably this guy. It's that guy, okay. Um, Do I want to get that? Yeah, I do want to get that back. Uh, and I will keep keep it inside this compound node. So I'll just add a quick little linear whatever. That's looking pretty good. It's amazing how little that affects Rodney. So that's pretty sweet. All right. And now I know the computer's not going to play this back. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot of color in the sky now. That is neat. So just for reference, as before, except for, you know, we don't have this sweet lens thing and that after. I mean, that is a completely different shot. So, I'm going to call that good. I guess since this is a let's play, we'll go through and go through some delivery settings. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to save this in Kira Soul. I'll make a new folder. Name this Ooh, cooler. That's looking good. Uh, and then my normal sort of rendering thing is an intermediate format. So I'll do, you know, depending on how I'm feeling, DNX HD. Uh, this is a 1080 shot, and then 145, 120, 115, 8-bit, which is fine for most things because DaVinci Resolve's H.264 renderer is suck dick. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, so I'll take it from this and then bring it either into media encoder or I'm going to probably add some font stuff in Premiere or After Effects and then render it out H.264 for Facebook. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I mean, might as well. Hopefully this doesn't crash the recording. 
yeah. I don't know. I'm going to save off rendering, but start render. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I always like doing these little Let's Play things. One, because there's like no editing involved. And two, because you just could sort of do whatever you want. And three, because, you know, only the really hardcore people watch them. And, and those are those are the people that you want watching anyway. So, um, you know, check out MeastMedia.com slash products. Uh, this is an ad for Kyrosol, cool sunglasses. Uh, always making making neat stuff for that. It's fun because I can do whatever I want. Sorry, just playing with my knife over here because I'm, you know, I'm like the hardest guy out there. Um, doesn't that sound cool? I'm thinking about making a MoGraph sound pack, so I'll probably have sounds like that in there. So let me know if you want a MoGraph sound pack. It's something that I've had on my whiteboard for a long time, and I've just never gotten around to doing it. Mostly because I don't do any MoGraph stuff on this channel, really. I'd like to do more, but DaVinci Resolve tutorials are just so easy. <laughs> you know, MoGraph tutorials, you actually have to think about. But color grading, you just like twiddle like three wheels around for four minutes, and then, you know, you've got a thousand views or whatever. So, uh, ramblings, always fun in these. Uh, most of, if this is your first Meester Media video for some reason we mostly do tutorials I've done some let's plays they're the things that, that I would want to watch if I was starting out but I know that most people just want to know how to do one thing right now which is totally fine and I'm in that boat a lot too so I'm done talking once again I've been Theo with Meester Media with a great day and I will see you oh I already mentioned MeesterMedia.com slash products. You can find house sluts and lens junk. So once again, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye.